it's funny you can you can be in a battle you know when you're when you're a kid and be as nervous as ever 300 people in a basement and then five years later I'm on stage sold out show two of the biggest artists across town doing a show you know and I'm as calm as I've ever been I go by the name of Navio truth be told when I started rap I must have been 10 years old. I was just clowning, you know, in studio. In the news tonight, Navio retakes the crown for the Ugandan hip hop for the 10th year running. Doing, doing what I do, and I guess I always had a talent for it. You know, people were amazed that this kid was putting together rhymes at 10 years old, but I can't say it had really become a passion. You know, I never, never saw myself as a rapper. Yo, what's up, y'all? I want y'all to welcome my main man from the 1 8 Project, Navio from Uganda. Welcome to Gotham City. The skyscrapers. I need a Midwest office. I'm just dying to get in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Now we know why they call it the Windy City. I've known about this music uh, on TV, on bass, man. Yeah, I paid him to say all that stuff about me. The real one now. <laughs> Bet you did not can hit those notes, huh? Do it! Oh, yeah! Yeah, from a rapper to a singer. So that's the hangover version. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go and we're going to get the real one now. <laughs> Here we go. It's the one day project, my desire. The power of love you cannot deny. You know, just to blend it in with the choir, you know. Okay. Yeah, what we're thinking, though, is I'm going to be doing the singing instead of you. <laughs> and then you can do the rap. <laughs> just let me, give me a stick and just let me do this. <laughs> Let's go, people, it's time to go higher. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Kalechi. <laughs> it's the one day project, my desire. The power of love you cannot deny. Let's go, people, it's time to go higher. Working with R. Kelly was definitely humbling, you know. It's a person who's been responsible for selling a uh, hundred million records. You can fly ya. Spread your wings, I believe you can fly ya. Exactly. He just gave you like another four number one hits. Yes. <laughs> I was down in the studio. I, I, I would've been up here earlier, but yeah. that studio got me locked down there. You know, I got a studio in my house, so yeah. I'm never upstairs except yeah. on the weekends. We party like on the weekends. I'm reaching out to all of the hoods in the streets everywhere. How's everybody doing, man? And make sure you, you stay sarcastic with it. Spread your wings, I believe you can fly ya. Spread your wings, I believe you can fly ya. See, when you, when you, 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 that's a trick. When you do it like that, you get through your session like, you know what I'm saying? You just drill it until you feel it. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Drill it until you feel it. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Right now, there's a discussion about who invented this dance. You know, I, I had to be humbled. I had to, okay, here we go, guys. you know, <laughs> bring you, slap my glasses on and, <laughs> and be a student. Come together, we can make history. So let me see you And it was an amazing experience. Not compared to I just need one night, girl, one night, girl, to show you what you mean to me, to show you the place you have in my heart. You are the one. One night. Next time you see me, you'll see the you line, the haircut, you know what I'm saying, the shave, you know what I'm saying, fly again and what I am on now, that, 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 I ain't see what I got, I don't got nothing on, you know what I'm saying, but I'm still stylish, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's how we keep it's okay. It's, it's, a, it's been a long flight, he's in the studio already. That's right. Fresh off the plane, straight into the studio, that's that work ethic, man. That's what young guys like us gotta learn, for real.
Knock up in the way. Key sweat. Navi, yo. I just need one night, girl. One night, girl. To show you what you mean to me. To show you the place you have in my heart. People, people don't see what it takes to become a rapper. They don't see what it takes to become a star. They don't see what it takes to become great. They don't see the dedication, um, what you do in studio, what you do out of studio. You know, um, people, people don't see how you go from being one type of MC, you know, small shows, to doing songs with R. Kelly. They don't see how you move from night battles and little competitions to press conferences, you know, in Nigeria. They don't see how you go from basically <laughs> being nothing to touring in Asia, you know, Thailand, wherever. All they see is the final product, but they don't under really understand the journey and what it takes. One moment you're going for a show, the crowd is shy, you know, standing back. The next time you go there, if you've been doing what you've been doing right, the crowd is right up front there. They want to see you, hold you, touch you, be a part of the action. And it's a beautiful thing. Go from rocking a crowd of, you know, 200 to rocking a crowd of 500 to rocking a crowd of 2,000 to rocking a crowd of 10,000 to rocking a crowd of 40,000. You know, it doesn't just happen overnight. And uh, you keep working hard, next thing you know, you know, you're getting flown out to a private show, private jet in Congo, you know. And the winner is... Huh? Love you. Hello. So it's hard, it's a hustle, you know. Getting yourself to a level where people want to see you perform and you're just an African boy, you're a Ugandan boy, you know, they're bringing you to Malaysia, Thailand, Zimbabwe, Burkina Faso, Bobo de la Sul, Accra, you know, Congo, Goma, you know, South Africa, the States, Boston, you know, it's, it's the UK. To, to, get to, to get to that level where you're performing in all those places, you know, you really have to have something special. And if you're not pushing, then people, nobody wants to see an African kid perform. You have to be extraordinary to get to that level. It's what I strive to do. You know, the same people that you're trying to get interviewed by, uh, you know, fanning themselves down, you know what I mean? Um, so it's great sometimes to have fans in places you didn't expect it, you know. People who are fans of the music, who have fans of their own. The show was crazy, man. We had a blast, you know, doing what we do, man. Just enough love, enough love from Rubaga, man. This, this is why I grew up too, man. I could never even get a show here. <laughs> Yo, what up? Here we are, heading towards the concert right now. Uh, <laughs> got the boys in the... You know, it comes with the good and the bad. You know, um, it can be great at the same point in time. The times you don't want to be stopped in the middle of traffic, you know. You don't want... You know, three cars, people jumping out of them in front of you to run to your car and get get your your autograph. Most deaf man rolling through the streets of Lagos. <laughs> you know how strong I'll do. For example, you know, there are days that you really, you can't handle that kind of action. You know, but at the same time, it comes with a job. These are people who love you. They see you in their living rooms. They see you on their laptops. You know, they see you in their magazines that they buy. Um, every single day. So you're, you're kind of a part of their circle, their family, you know, and, and they expect that respect. So no matter what happens, you always have to respect your fan. Yo, what up? It's your boy Navio. Yeah, we're right here on the set of Kata, my brand new video. Man, it's gonna be crazy. We got the models, we got the dancers out here. It's gonna be a crazy video. Get ready for it. Bring it back to the roots, man. You
I mean, at one point it was really just video after video after video. Her body's a crime with the police. Go somewhere remote, control me. You know, raw. Keep moving. Tell me. Nawuriranga. Uh, one and only. You know, Qatar. It, really, I can, I can say, I can name over 20 videos that I've done. And it was all a slow progression. You know, when I started with one video, um, I, I, I wanted to double it automatically. So I started with Saluni when I just come back from school. I doubled it. You know, went to Bugumu. I doubled how good that was. Went to Ngalo. I doubled how good that was. You know, up until now, you know, I'm jumping off cliffs and swimming with sharks in my video. You know, um, it's, it's the kind of dedication I have to, to pushing the envelope. <laughs> Uganda, yeah, we have disadvantages. You know, we're a small country. No one likes to get online. You know, Twitter, Facebook is minimal. You know, but where I think we're at our strongest is the live show. I think Nigeria might be the only other country that does as many shows as Uganda and they're 10 times as big as us, 10 times the population, 10 times the people online, you know, but Uganda still manages to, you know, stand their ground as far as international, you know, performances, people coming, you know, for those shows and people actually attending concerts. So that's where we see our strength, you know. At the end of the day, I'm my father's son. I'm a Ugandan. I'm an African, and it's gonna take a <laughs> it's gonna take more than an army to stop me from doing what I love. And what I love is hip hop. <laughs>